so surprisingly there was no grandiose celebration after the victory on Wednesday. Is that all because this team has bigger expectations on the line internally? Yes, uh, I mean, I think it's two things. One, uh, we have a game really quick, but second is uh, we're trying to continue to move up this uh, uh, the table or now at least keep our spot here at the, at the number two position to secure a buy would be ideal. Uh, home field advantage would be important, uh, you know, for these early, early games. So uh, we're staying focused on the task at hand. Um, you know, we had our own sort of internal uh, celebration that lasted a few minutes and then we move on and we concentrate on the task at hand. So does that feel attainable to you guys? You are 11-4-1 at BMO Field. You're playing host to Columbus Crew, currently trailing behind you in the standings, and they're a week on rest. Yeah, we, we think it's attainable. It's, uh, you know, we have obviously two important games, uh, one of which is at home, but against a, a good team. They're a very good attacking team, uh, and they've proven that all year. Uh, and so we're, we're going to have to be on our game, and it's a short turnaround, but... Uh, we feel we have we've had good form uh, in short time and we've had to turn around quickly and and play it's our guys love to play uh, they prefer not to train all week and play as many games as possible uh, so we give them an opportunity to turn around and play quickly this week and uh, we try to maintain our form and and keep doing what we're doing it's almost essentially a battle of MVPs Greg Bearhalter said he's going to do everything in his power to make sure Kai Kamara gets the golden boot how do you guys ensure that that doesn't happen uh, Kai's a, he's a very dangerous forward, uh, especially when they're able to get balls wide and, and whip balls into the box. And, you know, we need to be uh, aware of where he is at all times. We need to have presence on him. We can't allow him the freedom to, to run in the box and, and out jump us, that we need to have uh, good presence, bump him, disrupt his runs, take away as many crosses as we can at the point of the cross, uh, and force them to, to find ways to beat us other than, other than that, because that's really his bread and butter. And, uh, you know, if we do that, we're in... We'll be in a good position. Um, obviously, we have our own weapons on the other side, so it's important that we take care of the ball uh, in moments that we have it, and then we continue to, to create opportunities and uh, give Sebastian some opportunities to, uh, to get himself the golden boot. So it should be fun. A couple of weeks ago, Jonathan Osorio said that you told him to just go out there and start having fun with himself. Is it any coincidence that that's starting to correlate with him having more confidence out on the pitch? I think so. I, I mean, I think for all of them, that you know, we we train so much. We know the tactics. We know the structure. I don't want them to get too hung up in that because when you train it in repetition, it's there. It's and within that structure and within all of that, they need to enjoy themselves. They need to play and express themselves. That's why they're they're here at this level and that's why they're here in this club and why they're on the field. And so you know, for Johnny was he's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of a lot of tricks in his bag and a lot of things that he can use that he can express out on the field and and you don't really bring those out unless you're really kind of feeling it and you're you're confident in expressing yourself so um, you know maybe maybe that's why but I, I enjoy that uh, he's playing well and he's feeling good about himself. Greg, are there any more words that you can use to describe the season Jovinko's had? Best season in MLS history? Uh, yeah I think those I mean it's fair. It's one of the most exciting performances over the course of a year that that any player has ever had in our league. The things that he's uh, that he's accomplished, the goals that he's scored, the goals that he's set up. Um, it's it's been really exciting to be a part of it, uh, to to help build a structure around him and and give him the opportunities to like like also to express himself and do the things that he does he does well. Uh, but also keep him uh, and make sure he's a part of our team and our unit and helping us be successful. But he's, uh, he's, he's exciting, there's no question, and uh, hopefully only to be outdone by himself next year. So.